good afternoon to everyone uh, this is saravanan uh, now i would like to share you the concept of regressions so what is the use of regression uh, classifications um, i hope you know well uh, regression and classification is a play a major role in the machine learning techniques okay and this is an so an uh, calculation part of an uh, artificial intelligence concepts so this should be useful for a lot of activities uh, for finding on um, uh, statistical result for a uh, particular uh, activities so this is very nice concept i would like to share you now so <clears throat> Okay, so regression and classification with the linear model. So this is what the regression and classification model. Uh, that should be how it is useful in the linear model itself. So when the output y is one of a finite set of values, such as it's like in sunny, cloudy, or rainy. So the learning problem is called like classifications. So if it is a finite set of values, this is called classification learning problems. and when the y is a number such as the tomorrow's temperatures like so the learning problem is called regressions so we have an uh, values like a uh, um, data it's like called like an uh, regressions activity and if it is an uh, finite set of values there as we have to use like an uh, classification techniques so we have to see uh, the concepts one by one so first of all we would like to see Uh, the un univariate linear regressions actually that linear regression is uh, used like a univariate and multivariate concepts so in now we have to see the univariate linear uh, regression so a univariate linear regression is in like in a straight line with the input of x and output of y it has the form of the formula like y is equal to w1x plus w0 so here where w0 and w1 are the real valued coefficients to be learned here so we have used the letter w because we think of the coefficient is like the weight values of the line so the value of y is changed by changing the relative weight of one term or an another term we will define w to be the vector it's like a W zero comma W one, we have to put it within the square bracket, and it should be defined like the linear regression. W H W X equal to W one X plus W zero. So instead of we are going to use Y, we are going to use the linear regressions um, H W of X. So this is for an example. that we have to use for an univariate linear uh, linear regressions that is here we have to take an xy plan so in the x axis we have to take house size in square feet and in the y plan we have to take house price in the dollar like values okay so we know well when the house size is increased automatically that value is get increased so it's like a linear regular linear linearly that values are increased that is when input is increased then output is increased so it just like that okay so how much square uh, feet of the size uh, square feet of the house it's correspondingly that house rate is increased so this is going to identify the process of linear regressions univariate linear regressions so this figure is shows an example of training set of n points in the xy plan so we have to take some of the training set of n points uh, that we have to put in the xy plan there itself so each point is represent the size in the square feet of x 
and the price of the house y is offered for sale of an house so we have to take an example like we have to selling a house so in that case what type of price or how much price we have to set for the house so it up to the size of the house so the task of finding hw which is nothing but linear regression that best fits this data is called a linear regression data to fit a line to a data all we have to do is find the value of the weight value that is w0 and w1 that minimize the empirical loss so it is a traditional to use the squared loss function that is l2 is summed over all the training examples so now we have to see the multivariate linear regression we can easily extend to multivariate linear regression problem in which we i have an example x j is an n element vectors so it's like a x0 x1 x2 up to like an x j number of variables are available that's why it is like an called like an multivariate linear regressions so here our hypothesis space is the set of function of the form h s w of x j equal to w0 plus w1 x j comma 1 plus w2 x j comma 2 etc to w n x j comma n so here we have to have an w0 in separately and rest of the coefficient and input values are uh, is available like uh, w1 x j comma 1 w2 x j comma 2 so there we have to take a uh, summation of this particular product resultant so that we have to write like a shortly write like a w0 plus summation of i is equal to uh, 1 to n then w i x j comma i so the linear classification with a hard threshold the linear function can be used to do the classification as well as the regression too for example the upcoming figure is shows the data point of two classes earthquake and underground explorations so that <coughs> that squared dots and the block dots it going to show as about the earthquake values and underground exploration values so each point is defined by two input values like uh, x1 and uh, x2 that refer to the body and surface wave magnitudes computed from the seismic signals is given the training data the task of classification is to learn a hypothesis h that will take a new input like uh, x1 comma x2 points and this is going to return either zero for an earthquake or one for an exploration so according to this particular point whether the outcome is that is the upcoming happening is maybe a earthquake or an exploration if the process result it return the value of zero means we are able to consider it is an earthquake signal if it is an one then we able to understand it is an exploration uh, signal so a decision boundary is a line that separate this two classes so this figure the decision boundary is a straight line so the linear decision boundary is called a linear separator and the data that admit such a separator are called a linearly separatable data the linearly separator is this case is defined by is like an x2 equal to 1.7 x1 minus 4.9 or is 4.9 plus 1.7 x1 minus x2 that's equal to 0 so both the things are is equal so the explorations which we want to classify with a value 1 are to the right of this line with the higher value of x1 and the lower value of x2 so they are the points for which uh, uh, -4.9 plus 1.7 x1 minus x2 which is greater than 0 while this an earthquakes is have 
minus 4.9 plus 1.7 x1 minus x2 is less than 0. If the value is happening of value is greater than 0, it is an exploration. If it is in less than 0, it is an earthquake like. So using the conventions of the dummy input x0 is equal to 1, we can write the classification hypothesis as HWX is equal to 1. If W and DX is greater than or equal to 0 or 0 otherwise. So the linear classification with the logistic regressions. So this logistic regressions is going to use for converting that uh, floating values into an rounded values output. So we have seen that passing the output of linear function through the threshold function is created as a linear classifier. Yet the hard nature of the threshold is causes some problem. That is the hypothesis HW of X is not differentiable and is in fact a discontinuous function of its inputs and its weights. It is not a, like an this differentiable one. This makes learning with a perceptron rule a very unpredictable adventure is going to happening here. Furthermore, the linear classifier is always announces a completely confident prediction of 0 or 1. We saw two functions that look like soft thresholds the integral of the standard normal distribution and another one is the logistic function. Although the two functions are very similar in shape, the logistic function, it has more convenient mathematical properties like logistic of z is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus e power minus z. So this process of fitting the weights of this model to minimize the loss on the data set is called a logistic regression and this is most probably converting the floating value of the outcome into a rounded value that is decimal point like value so that is the happening of logistic regressions so i hope you understand this particular concept that is regression classifications technique so this is identifying you and some of the uh, basic knowledge about this particular concept. So we will see some other concepts in the next video. Uh, thank you.